This shape is an icosahedron. Now, if you look, there's two things to, to understand about this. One is that we have five straws coming together in each intersection. Another thing is that each one of these faces is an equilateral triangle, meaning that all three edges of the triangle are equal. What I want to do is try to create a more of a roundness to this, more of a sphere, using these straight struts. An extreme of this is the ball at Epcot. The ball at Epcot has a whole lot of triangles coming together, uh, intersecting so that they create this more of a sphere. You'll see six triangles coming together. In a few instances, you'll see five. If you look up here, you see five triangles coming together. Okay. Now, what we're going to do in this in this project is make this a little more like a ball, like the Epcot ball is. We're going to take each of the triangles, okay, and instead of having one strut, we're going to have two, and have it bend out a little bit. Each face is going to bend out a little bit, so we'll have a straw here, straw here, straw here, straw here, straw here, straw here, and then we'll have straw, 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 connecting them, okay. In doing that, these straws will have six straws the same size, and then we'll have another, six, uh, another three straws of a different size. If we, okay, now what we need to do is figure out how long do we make those sides. A website, called DesertDomes.com. DesertDomes.com has a calculator in it. So, if you look at the desert calculator, the dome calculator, you'll see six different options. Now these options here are, this is if you wanna make an icosahedron, which is what we have. Now, this is for dome structures for like tents and canopies and things like that. So, so you see a, a, a hemisphere, a half of a sphere. Okay. Now, if you look at the, the, the next one, this looks more like the Epcot ball, doesn't it? That's a, that's a two, uh, magnitude two. That's the one we're, we're, that we're going to be doing this time. At a future project, we're going to be doing the three. Time permitting, we'll even go beyond that. Now, I have done one uh, when I was oh, geez, about 10 years ago, I did a four and it took me about three or four hours, but I did it with smaller straws and it was so big I couldn't get it out the door. So, uh, you know, if you go to, if you look just ahead at the five and the six, you see the higher the number, the more it looks like a ball. Next step is to measure the distance between the holes in the, in the straws. Now, keep in mind the straws, the straws have these holes insert, inserted about one quarter from each end. We are going to use this straw as this distance here as our standard. Our, okay, so if you look at the A and B, you saw the, that the calculation for A was bigger. So that inner triangle is going to have um, a straw length that is this big in our case because we want to make this as big as possible uh, given the, the struts that we have. So let's calculate um, the distance and like I said I'm using metric so so if I go from the hole and line it up to the zero okay the holes are about 17.5 centimeters apart.
Okay, now we're doing this step where we're sort of mass producing the 15.5 inch uh, struts. So I have these two. These are accurate. Now what I'm going to do is put, I put 12 straws in the middle here that need to be cut. Put the two that have the right size, one on each end. And I'm going to create a, a line across all of them so that I can get an accurate an accurate position in which to put the holes the, the second hole the first hole is already on here Okay, now all the struts have been cut and they have a hole at each end. They're now ready for assembly. We have 60 pink struts and 60 green struts. The layout that you see here um, should hit you over the head with the fact that we have uh, five pink struts being put together. That's going to form the corners of our triangles. First step, we're going to take 12 connectors and put together these uh, intersections where you have five pink struts. See that I put all the, all the um, connectors involving the five struts together, the five pink struts. Now I want to show you a layout of um, the rest of the assembly. Now you can see the, the lattice or the way that the, um, the green struts are going to be connected to these. So for each one of the um, the connectors involving the green struts, you can see we're going to put opposing pink struts together and then four total green struts, two on each side of the, the pink struts. I'd assemble the first uh, connector involving green struts. So far it's not, it's not going to force a volume, but as soon as I put the other two connectors um, for this interior triangle, as soon as I put these together, this, you know, these two right here, it'll, it'll raise it so you can see a volume being created. The next one we're going to do is, we're going to do the bottom, add one here to the bottom. So to do that, I need to add a green one here, green here, green here, and then green on the other side. Okay. Okay, so we're going to add that, and I'll show you the prog uh, show you what it looks like after that. I've attached those now. You can see that this is sort of pushing itself off the table. You can see that it has a volume that's being created, and like I said, as you add more, you're going to see the volume really take shape. Look at this from above. You can see that you have a, a five-piece connector, a five-pink connector, if you want to call it that and you have five let me see one two three four five other five pin connectors connected to it along with the green struts now you can see that it had it now has a significant volume it's now the sort of halfway it's it looks sort of like a turtle <laughs> that's about the uh the coverage for it so we're going to continue on this and like i said as you go on it's going to look more and more like a ball like a sphere a sphere but you can see there's a significant uh, shape to it right now and i'm over halfway done i have four pink uh five connectors five strut uh, assemblies that need to be put onto this and then i'll be done okay i'm now at the point where i'm putting on the last five pin connector the last pink connector or starfish if you want to consider it that that's pretty much what it looks like <laughs> um so it looks like everything's going to work out let me put these together if you haven't been careful about uh getting the right you know being consistent with the right lengths with putting the holes in the right spot if you haven't been this is where this can be a really tough part of the assembly it looks like we're going to be okay. There she is. This is a geodesic level two sphere.